Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to some more Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Last time we took on the full forces of Ganon and headed to Hyrule Castle. And now, we've made it to the final battle at Hyrule Castle. But before we do that, there's a few things in the overworld that have appeared, so we're going to take care of those first. So that we are truly prepared for what comes next. Expert cooking lesson. What is a dish without ingredients? Gather some special ones to improve your cooking ability. Rare kinds that you couldn't get at a store. You get the Master Koga seal of approval. You gathered the kinds of, of rare ingredients you don't see see every day and made a dish with them. A tasty one too. You're, you've expanded your talents for cooking. Now we can cook three meals per battle. We also got wheat bread, which increases cooking effects by 20%. That's a really... That's a good one, because it means you can stack that with something else to make things way better. Let's buy some chill shroom. Hopefully I have enough rupees to just do this. Looks like I can do something else, so... Surveying the desert ruins, a team of researchers are heading to Gr the Gerudo region to gauge how much damage the Calamity has done to the um, area's ruins. Gather materials so they won't collapse in the harsh climate. I could use that right now. <laughs> Despite the grueling heat, the team was able to complete their survey of the Gerudo desert without issue. Much to the relief of the Gerudo, they concluded no, no damage had been done to the ruins. Ridu gets an extra special gauge. And we also get sand boots, which is cool. It makes it easiest to walk or run in sand, I guess. Walk and run, I suppose. Now, is there anything else that looks really important that I should look at? Like flashing green places with stuff for me? I don't know, anyway. Giving peace of mind. Zelda wishes to put the minds of her people at ease. Help the princess gather proof of the great victories won by the defenders of Hyrule. Optimism lit up the citizens' faces upon seeing the evidence of the Hylian forces' bravery. It was as though their fear faded away and hope took its place. Bow of Light's capacity has been increased. I don't know what that means. Also, what was that combo that was there? 88%, oh my goodness. Feast or fiction? Zoro's domain is abuzz with rumors of seafood a seafood dish that can improve for morale. Many doubt that the fabled food really exists. As for Sidon, he wants to obtain the ingredients and see for himself. I seem to have improved. The nutritionist, nutritionist taught Sidon how to make the dish, and the prince showed off his culinary talents to, to the whole domain, as he had hoped. His rendition of the meal really did improve morale. Silence gets a third special gauge. Now what's this at? 91%, so close. This one is also fairly close as well, but I have a few other things I need to do. Looks like we're going to need some more Moblin trophies, which means we should probably do a challenge. This one looks good, but first... The King's Secret Technique. From time to time, King Rome heads for a secluded lodge uh, to practice with his claymore. These training retreats might be even more effective if he had something to augment his strength. I King Rome made some powerful elixirs from the ingredients and, re and returned from the lodge with his skills quite improved. No one alive could possibly surpass his majesty's uh, deftness with uh, claymores. King Rome gets an extra Y combo and also we get the warm duble. That's the second time I've got that this week. Reclaim the land. Let's change our characters probably a little bit. Uh, also, I just remembered a few things I should look at. If we go over to the forge, the or well, the blacksmith, and go to our weapons, the master sword is at its maximum level, and also... Zelda's overclock clock unit, unit is also at its max. Zelda's overclocked unit, though, has a special 
thing on it that I might might have. Well, actually, let me check it quickly. Okay, it doesn't have it yet. So let's upgrade this overclocked unit so we can forge it a bit more. We need 30 fish. So let's go with the thing we have the most of, probably. Hopefully I don't actually need much of it. Actually, this one's the one we have the most of. Let's do that one. 30 of that. I don't actually know if it matters what materials I use. So hopefully, by using these, it's not going to ruin me. Like, it, I, I just think it, if, it, if I give it good stuff, it'll give me good stuff back. So, But I don't know, so... I'm just going to put whatever I can into it, and hopefully it's going to be fine. Maybe it'll only increase it by a, a smaller amount of levels, depending on what you give it. <laughs> no, it's just fine. Cool. I was glad to help. Now, the Master Sword, I think I'll also try to do that, just because it's... It's pretty useful, so... Being able to increase that any more as, like, as possible would be good. Let's put in some Moblin Fangs. Just like that. And now... It's only a hundred, so let's just do Lizalfos. Lizalfos aren't that bad. They aren't the most common, but they are fairly common. So... Let's just do that. And confirm. Strengthen. For 475 rupees. So those are better now, but we're going to need more rupees to actually just forge them even more. But the reason I did that is because Zelda's Overclocked Unit has the ability to track Koroks. If we get it up to the right level. So I'm going to be trying to level that up as much as possible, but it's going to take a while because this is going to slowly... This isn't even going to raise it a little bit. Oh my goodness, this is going to take forever. Also, I found that lots of weapons just take... Don't actually take much to level up. Or the, the weapons you get at the very beginning of the game, or earlier on, the less leveled ones, the ones that do a lot less attack than everything else, if they're level 1, if you upgrade those, they upgrade a lot faster than everything else, if you merge better stuff into it, but it's kind of a waste. But uh, unless you have specific stuff for coral hunting you need. Anyway, now let's take a look at this, and let's change our party up. Let's go... Mipha. Uh, Daruk. Revali. And Urbosa. I guess I'll just switch these characters. No, come on. This should be a lot easier than that. I guess I'll switch these characters around so that the lower level ones get a chance to shine a little bit. Let's go. Here we go. Time to roll out. Reclaim the land. Capture the outpost. We have 15 minutes to capture four outposts. We should do alright, probably. Each of our main characters is right near an outpost, so... I don't need to spend that much time fighting enemies, so I'm just gonna go straight for it. I mean, it would be good to have more than this, but still. Okay. Also, probably using Zelda is a good idea if I want to give her more weapons, so... But I don't... I'm not just going to... I'm not going to worry about that for the moment. Hello, Frost Talus. Let me burn you. Just like that. Weak point smash. Just go absolutely nuts. Flyer rush, thank you. Just absolutely incredible. Oh my goodness, hit him. Ah, Pretty good though. Blow you up. Point smash. There we go. And now let's use our special. Oh my goodness, he's still going. There we go. Let's switch over to Rivali. Oh 
head over to his outpost, I guess. Also, Daruk's flashing for some reason, I don't know why. Probably doing his own thing. Okay, let's just slash through everything in here. Come on. There should be a lot more focus than this. Maybe I should blow stuff up more. That way I can just go through things faster. There's not much in this outpost at the moment. There we go. Guardian. Fly rush. Amazing music. Perfect. Wonderful. Let's go weak point smash you. Now it's time for Mifa, who's also where Daruk is for some reason. Daruk decided to go on and do his own thing. Let's just smash through everything in here. Maybe he's just in his element and has an advantage of some kind that I don't know about. Seems like this is where the stone talus is on the Great Plateau that first time, which is cool. But anyway, I could be wrong. Let's just slash through everything here that I can. They are not dying quickly, are they? Well, that's fine. Let me just keep smashing them. The Guardian has appeared. There it is. Stasis. Probably should have just used the normal attack. Well, that's fine. Just gonna do a whole bunch of this. No, that doesn't actually do what I thought it would. Okay. break its legs, and let's go absolutely crazy now. There we go. Daruk's a bit distracted, but I'm on it. Weak point smash. And let's use our special to finish it off. There we go. Obosa. Let's just head into this outpost over here. This Pocoblin camp really grew. Anyway. Or fell. Shrank. I don't know. I know the words I'm trying to think of. I think I just have to get to the outpost to half health and then a stronger enemy spawns in. Like a way stronger enemy. Which I guess makes sense. Oh, bomb. Bomb. There we go. Oh, and stabbed it in the eye. Okay, let's just burn you. Come on. Attack some of these guys. Oh, Magnesis. Catch that. Thank you. And throw it right back. Okay, let's hit you a few times, and let's weak point smash. There we go. Look, if I can build up my special, that'd be great. That didn't even hit him, come on. Oh my goodness, he's doing a thing now as well. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, really? 
this being really annoying. Just do that a whole bit then. Oh my goodness, please. Let's use our special on him. There we go, and now... Stasis. And weak point smash. Now back to Ravali because something spawned back there. Special. Oh, there's a there's a thing there. The silver mob the silver ah. There's two silver moblins and a silver Lionel. Oh my goodness, please. Okay, there's another one there. Fly rush him, apparently. Just hit him a whole bunch. And then let's weak point smash. Now let's have a look at this Lionel. Stasis, no. That's not available. Now it is. Come on. Half the time that remains, that's fine. I have to just dodge this Lionel a bit more. And everything will be fine. Stasis. There we go. Let's hit it a whole bunch. And weak point smash. Oh my goodness, bombs. Not in time. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Oh my goodness, why is it like this where it does the thing right after everything? Weak point. Special. That one. Special. Since I managed to build it up. Now let's stasis. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Weak point smash. Not quite done. But I missed. Oh my goodness. Dodge. Gonna eat. And now let's ice. And let's finish this off as much as possible. Probably not all the way, but getting there. At least I remembered his pattern with the stasis or the bomb and then the ice thing. Oh my goodness. Stasis? Shoot that, and then, then attack. There we go, that's better. Nice, and weak point smash. Fine work as always, Ravali. Just don't rest on your feather tails yet. Tail feathers yet. Oh my goodness, there's more. Do I want to move everyone over here, or do I want to... Oh, I just have to capture this outpost, and it's not captured yet. Is there something here that I need to worry about, or... Well, I guess there's this guy. Okay. Nice. There we go. Let's have a go at him. Oh, he's not very strong, is he? We point smash. There we go. Victory smiles upon us. Feels pretty good, no? How many moblins did I fight? I fought a few. It'll help with other side quests, probably. I fought two. I fought two of them. I... I... Ugh.
There we go, and it's unlocking something else for us. Two more challenges. Good. I needed more challenges. Let's buy some of these hearty durians. There wasn't enough hearty dur durians apparently, so we're going to need more. And now, I'm probably going to try and do some other qu uh, challenges that will give me moblins trophies, so. But anyway, that is it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Hyrule, no, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. So thank you all for watching, I'll see you all next time.